You know, often when we think of a smoke machine, we think of an EVAP problem or a vacuum line problem, something sucking air into the intake. Well, you know, with a little critical thinking, if we think, well, if the smoke can find a leak there, why can't we use it on other things? I'm going to show you how now to use the ready smoke machine to find a water leak on this pickup truck. We're working on a 2011 Ford F-150 and the complaint is water is leaking into the back seat when it rains. Now I've climbed up here in the back seat so I can show you where it's leaking. If you look up at the headliner, you have to kind of look close in here because it's not wet at the moment, but you can see discoloration lines. So all of this area up here is what was wet. Now he also said that he had some boxes with some things sitting here on the seat and all of those were wet as well. So I'm thinking back here, where in the world could this water be coming from? Now he does have a window back here that will slide open, so it could be around these seals. But rather than just guess, why not use a smoke machine and see if we can get smoke coming in here just like the water did. Then we'll be able to isolate the source. Simply plugged in my ready smoke machine, put the air into it, hooked it up to a battery, and now I'm ready to take this long cord up anywhere I need to have smoke. Now let's think about this for a minute. On the inside of the cab, the water marks on the headliner were up here on the very top. Now could the water be leaking through this window? It has a seal here because this is a window that will open and close. So yeah, it's possible. So let's use the smoke to see if we can get smoke inside the cab. Now again, thinking about this with critical thinking, the roof is solid metal and there's no holes through it. We do have some seals around here and we do have some seals around this light. Now if the water was leaking here, gravity would push it in and down, but I can't see it making the headliner up there get wet. But I can this possibly, so maybe we're leaking around here. Now we've got two screws. Those screws obviously go right on in. So we're going to take our smoke now and put it around the screw holes. And we're going to put it around both sides. Now someone on the inside is watching for smoke. Now I'm also going to take it around the outer lip of this thing and run our smoke across here. So let's see what's happening on the inside. So as I'm looking at this, I see all my leak water is up here. Gravity will make water flow. So if the water were leaking in around this window seal, I would think that I'd have more water stains down in this area, which I don't. So since my stains are up here, the leak must be above this point. So we need to take the headliner down and look. Now, fortunately, on this case, if my leak's back here, I don't have to take the whole headliner down, probably just the front. Now, at this point, there's just two pl plugs right here, and they're plastic pushpin plugs. So we're going to take them out. And now my headliner will come down. Now it's kind of hard to get the camera, the smoke, and my hand up in here. So I'm just going to talk you through it. But I have the headliner pulled down and you can see the metal on the inside of the roof. Now look close and you can see the smoke coming through. So we're injecting smoke through the screw hole on the back light and you can see it now coming through. 
Now smoke and water, they can both travel through an opening that they shouldn't. The smoke will drift. Now if this were water, water wouldn't drift like this. What would happen is the water would get inside between the lower and the top, the lower and the upper part of the roof. And then it would gather inside that little metal channel, leak down, drain down to the pinch welds, and then it would leak out at the pinch welds. Those pinch welds are right where the headliner attaches. That's why our headliner gets wet. So these are Phillips screws. Let's take them out and see what we can find. Now as we look at this, we can see that this is plastic and there is a rubber seal around it, all the way around it, and we have a hole right there for the screw and another hole for the other screw. These other holes are just guide holes to keep this in proper alignment. Now as I look in here, I don't see the headliner. What I see is metal and some pinch welds, and that's probably the underside of the actual roof, the metal here and the metal on the inside and there's some holes in here. So the headliner is attached to this piece of metal. So when our smoke goes through these holes and through these holes, it fills this metal chamber in here, goes around the pinch welds, and that's where it's leaking in there. So if we just seal up these holes here, if we repair these seals, we should stop the smoke and the water from getting into the headliner. So you see, smoke machines can be used for a lot more than just an EVAP problem or an intake leak. They can be used for about anything we can think of where we need to trace down a leak. One of the reasons that I like this ready smoke machine the best, and I've used several over the years, is it is small, lightweight, easy to use, and it's made in America.